Hey, you're like on Austin Skinner. I'm from Virginia. Um, 20 years old. Been making music for about seven years now. And shit. I'm trying to do rally. Got me dying in the moonlight. And I got you in the moonlight. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Virginia. Well, I was born in Denver, but grew up in Virginia. And shit, I started making music like eighth grade. I got my first song like 2013. I was like 14 years old. And then throughout high school, I just kept dropping music. And started doing shows like sophomore year. And yeah, this shit kept rolling from there. We're again, we just, we're on tour right now. It's our first show in New York. Not our first show in New York, like first show on the tour. And shit. I dropped a project, it's like seven songs called Lover. Um just pretty much. I made it throughout like the last couple of months of 2018. And I was holding on to it for a little bit, dropped some singles, and then I dropped it. It's doing pretty well right now. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of work I've dropped. Why is that? I don't know, it's just something like, I put a lot of time into it, <laughs> perfected it, and made sure everything that I said, like every song like relates to something to me. Like, a lot of people, I got a lot of feedback on it. Saying like people love it, like help me go through some shit, stuff like that. So that shit means a lot to me. Yeah. Three, three weeks? Three weeks? Yeah. You just knocked it all out this yeah. Cause I was only doing singles for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck, I need to drop a project. And I was like, in the perfect, like, I was in the zone for it, like, a perfect mood. I was recording, like, every day. So I just I made about, like, 30 songs and then narrowed it down to, like, seven. The rest of them I threw away. But, yeah, I put a lot of time into it, a lot of thinking into it. Like, <clears throat> like to be honest, everything I recorded, like, I'd say eight out of ten songs I throw away. Cause not everything you make is fire, you feel me? Like you might like it a little bit, but if I'm gonna drop something, I want it to be like perfect. And like, cause it's gonna be out there for everyone to hear. And I feel like that those seven songs I picked, like, I don't know, they like meant the most to me. And I feel like they're all hits. So I went with those. And then I had like some features on there. Uh, Belize, uh, she's from North Carolina, she's a fire. She's a female. She's a Neela World too. Uh, who else on there? Alright, Gucci on it. That's the only features I have was her and Gucci. And then producers, I had uh, Ian Khan. I have a lot of new songs with him coming out soon. He's a fire producer I just found a few months ago. Uh, John Luther, another one of my favorite producers. Uh, Trap Phones, Trap Phones, Five is Four. All the love for him. Um, and shout out Trap Phones. Uh, shit. Hold on, so I, I gotta check real quick. Oh, Wild Card too. Wild Card snapped on his beat. And I think that was it. Or something, I'm missing nobody, so I won't just cut anybody. Incon. Oh, Young Tim too. Young Tim snapped. Shout out Young Tim. He's actually from Round Prom. He's still in high school. He hit me up like a few months ago, sent me some beats, and he was snapping. He's only like 16. But me and him got a lot of songs on the way. There's so many young producers now. Exactly. Like right now, like, I love when, like finding new producers right now. Like I found like, well, like four producers that I'm working with right now, like constantly, and there's just people like that just send me beats. I talk to them. We just build a relationship over time, and yeah, we just keep making hits back to back. <laughs> it's just fun. Um, I gotta get a beat first, to be honest. But like, whatever the beat is, I get like a certain like vibe off of it, or like. I don't know, it just comes to me naturally, I guess. And then I just go in and do my thing. And I don't even write music. I, I, I like freestyle bar by bar. So that shit makes it easier for me to like perfect what I want to say, like how I'm going to say it, and like everything about it. <clears throat> Cause I write, every time I write, I feel like I get boxed in. I don't know why, I just keep saying the same shit. But if I just do it off the top of my head, I could branch out and just think about anything I want to do like in the moment. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, absolutely. Jugs definitely influence my music, because they help me like, if I hear a beat, like, while I'm smoking a blunt, 
I don't know, it's just like, I feel it a lot more. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just like I have it now. But, I don't know, just being high here in music, it just helps me like, I feel like I'm able to express myself more too. I get more in depth with it, get more creative. But yeah, it definitely plays a role. Some pause like Girl, that's this time. Yeah, Gucci, yeah, Gucci, that's my bro. He gave me so many opportunities. He fired so. I right here, right here. So you know what I mean? Oh shit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> but uh shit. Yeah, I always gotta have him on a project. I believe I found her a few months ago and she she mad fire. Like I uh, and I was like, damn that shit crazy. Like she had like a unique voice. And I was like the first female I worked with. And um I've been waiting for that to happen too. Just to find like a few more artists, because I feel like my voice, like the melodies and shit, we're gonna break with like a few more artists' voice. And she was like the perfect, like, like the perfect voice for it. And the sound I was going for. She sent the song back. I sent her an open, open verse. She recorded it, sent it back. She went harder than I did. So I had to re record my shit and then send it back to her again, because I was just like, I was like, damn, like, she outdid me on this hoe. I still feel like she did better, but yeah, that shit was fine. I see you behind my eyelids. Shorty won't come around my Being able to make a living out of music, that's what I always dreamed of. I only had like two jobs, but I always found a way to get money besides that. But music now is like my main income. That's like the only way I make money to be honest. And shout out to everyone that like helps invest in me. And it's just crazy, I don't know why. That and it's also being able to live with people like in my collective. Finally got out of my home state. And yeah, shit just went up. I don't really see any competition to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I like better with people instead of like putting like put myself against them. But uh peers shit pretty much like almost everybody on the, on the underground right now. And the scene coming up, I had to talk about everybody. We're all cool as fuck. You know. But yeah. And I'm working with a lot of new people soon. Cause like before I wasn't really working with nobody, like having no features or anything. I was, uh, I was like going through a time where I wanted to find my sound. And then I was able to put like, once I got to the point where I could put my own music out and it could go up numbers like by itself. And then I was like, damn, like, I could really just do this shit just me. So I just kept going from there. And I, I don't even really like having features on my shit to be honest. But if, someone, if, I, if I like make a song and I'm halfway done, I can like hear someone else on it that, I, that I'm friends with or I, I listen to, and I'll definitely just hit him up on it to hit him to get on the song. I never get play. I need that money today. Uh, like like blunts, backwards. Back I, I, yeah, I used to fuck with Fronto. Um, I can't lie, I started off with, with uh, Dutchess, but yeah, backwards is like all I now. Money tall, I'm gonna need a rake. I don't piss in a bed where I lay. That's a hard. You just be smoking or like? No, when I was in LA, this was the white gorilla was fire. I like, uh. Shit, I like Gorilla, Gr gorilla Blue number three. That shit go crazy. Um. So I'm trying to think. Lucky Charms, I put Lucky Charms too. That shit breaks down nice. That's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna really fuck with. I like the fluffy weed, I don't like that shit. I got a lot of singles on the way. I'm doing another project I'm working on right now. It's like mostly like hard stuff. Because a uh, lot of projects I dropped, Lover was like more like, more like emotional type shit. Like melodic, melodic, like slower. But I'm about to do like project hard shit. Me and Fish, shout out Fish, uh, fire producer. Uh, me and him doing an EP. Some, uh, we're doing a, a pop EP and some alternative shit. I'm trying to like switch up and like, tap into different genres because I grew up on rock too. <clears throat> so that plays a lot of inspiration, like in my melodies and stuff like that. My dad listens to a lot of rock and my mom listens to like hip hop, R&B, but um, I grew up, I was in the, like, my dad played a lot of rock in the house and, like, whenever we went places and shit. And then, I, I like, like, bands like Tidal Fight, like, Three Days Grace, like, Blink-182, like, it's, like, almost, like, punk bands and shit. But, yeah. 
Men jag ser definitivt om jag sa de här sidorna. Ja, jag sa det. Jag har some music videos on the way. We got Real Bump. Uh, shout out Real Bump. Uh, he's a videographer. He's fire as fuck. He's coming on tour with us. He's, he's, he starts, uh, I'm actually linked with him tomorrow, actually. And uh, so we're gonna be traveling around. I'll probably shoot different videos, different cities. Shooting the Glitch video in LA for sure. Um, and then uh, whatever I feel like in see whatever song I wanna shoot for, I'll probably shoot for. I can't even tell ahead of time. But yeah, it's just gonna be fire. Real Bump is in Forever World. Oh no, he's from uh, Texas. Texas? Texas, yeah. He, he's in Forever World. So I met him through just being in Forever World, getting added. Uh, I shout out Doomsday and Forever World. Uh, Doomsday is a. Uh, we just put this together. How long ago we put this together? A few months ago. Um, it's pretty much all the artists in Virginia that, that I know that have the most talent, and I thought that had the most the, the most potential. And me and Linus put it together. Shout out Linus. And yeah, we're gonna be making a lot of moves this year. Dropping videos. A lot of music, we're gonna do like a collab tape, merch, everything. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. Shout out Forever World to family too. Yeah, I know. Yeah.